Alright Guido, look, you know how much I need money after I spent the entire channel budget on food, okay? So, you say you've got a job lined up for me? Okay, it's just around this corner. Okay, I'm excited to see what you've got lined up. Uh, this is it? Guido, uh, are you sure this is legal? Me seeks duty, you alright? Oh, whoa, calm down there, buddy. I've done nothing to you. You were the one that was brainwashed by Bendy, okay? Just, just chill out, all right? Whoa! Evening, Guido. Welcome to my amazing gun and weaponry shop. As you can see, it is absolutely stacked to the rafters full of, of air. There's absolutely nothing here, all right? Well, yeah, I've only got $200 in the bank. I don't have enough to spend right now. I have one shelf ready for guns. And uh, this thing here, this is for thieves and stuff. If someone comes in and tries to rob my presser shelf, I can just blast them like that with this thing. But I'm not going to be doing that yet. And hopefully it doesn't come to that. But yeah, we've got $200. We also have this permit list. Now, basically, this is a, a curd list of anyone that walks in. If someone's curd does not match anything I see here, I have permission to shoot them in the face of my stun gun and kick them out of my store. Because they cannot buy any of my weapons, okay? They're going to be murderers, mercenaries, uh, other bad things, okay? They, they, they can't purchase guns from me because that will lower my reputation. And nobody will want to purchase from me. I mean... Look, right now, I, no one's coming in now. Oh uh, yeah, that's probably right. And it is also 1am in the morning, so I should probably get to sleep and uh, get ordering some guns in the morning. So, uh, Guida, find a nice place to, to rest. I suggest this little shelf thing maybe in one of the drawers, and uh, I'll see you in the morning when we begin selling our very first weapons. All right, good morning, Guida. Now, we have a whole list of weapons here going from cheap axes all the way down to pickaxes. And basically, we have to find something that we can sell and that's uh, going to sell a lot, okay? So, we can raise our money up and start getting more weapons in. Like, I mean, let's have a look here. What's the craziest thing? Uh, an Uzi. There's also, if we go over here, there's uh, an M249 light machine gun, which is a little bit out of our price range right now. We also have a bunch of what looks like gun licenses or something like that. So, we'll have to work on that. Right now, I think I'm going to sell one axe, okay, because it's within our price range. If it doesn't go well, we're not going to go bankrupt yet. And it'll just get our name on the map, you know, come to Steve's Super Emporium for weaponry and guns. Uh, yeah, you're right, that's a terrible name, but um, we should we should think of that during, during this adventure today. So I'm just going to purchase one of these, and basically the reason why we are doing this is because, uh, well, we need to raise some money for the channel. As I said, I spent all of our channel budget on, uh, where is it? Uh, oh, I have to go to the checkout. There we go. This newfangled online shopping thing really isn't my thing. So yeah, basically, guys, I spent all the channel budget on food, as we saw in the previous dimension, and uh, Guido hasn't been helping out. He hasn't been getting a job or anything like that, so it's up to me. And uh, if this is what we are brought to, selling axes in this creepy, creepy town, then, um, well, that's just what we're going to have to do. It's the law of the jungle out there. we got to do whatever we can. Okay, so we got one of these, and uh, now... Could I use this myself to go on a mad axe murdering spree? You're right, Guido, I could, but it wouldn't earn me any money. It'd be a lot more exciting, but it wouldn't earn me any money. So let's go back around this way if we can. There we go, and we'll put this on the shelf and start selling it for, uh, well, we'll have to see. How do I, there we go. So it's on there. Uh, let's sell it for a bit more, a little bit more than what it's, uh, originally intended to sell for, or what we purchased for. It's open right now. So I guess we'll go over here and wait for the customers to start reeling in. Now, Guido, don't worry. I've got a marketing tactic ready to go. I've read a couple of books and, uh, oh, oh, okay. Never mind. Someone's already buying it. Okay, he's got it. Now we just need to check his permit here and hopefully he is not a thief. Can I see your permit, please, sir? Oh, it's here. Okay, where did my permit list go? Hello? Where's it gone? It's disappeared. Oh, I guess we might need a new one every day. Let's have a look. Just, uh... I'm just going to trust you, sir, just to wait there. And don't run off with that. I think we've got a new permit list. So this is John Smith, which sounds like the fakest name in the world. Uh, yes, our permit list is here. So it is... Oh my gosh. He's not on here. This guy's a criminal. Um, sir, I'm sorry, John Smith, if that is your real name. But your name is not on the permit list. So I'm afraid, John Smith, again, probably not your real name. I'm going to have to take this off you. Give me... Give me that. Give, give me that back. Get out of here. Yeah. 
Okay, I can't kill him. Maybe not. Maybe that's a bit too far. Okay, so that was a criminal trying to purchase that. Uh, luckily, it didn't work. And unfortunately, he reset the price back. I guess nobody wants weapons once they've been in the hands of criminals. I know, I know. They're a bit they're a bit stingy with it. Anyway, Guido, as I was saying, I've got a new marketing technique to try out, okay? It's a bit unusual, but bear with me. I've been reading a couple of books. Here we go. Hey! Someone buy my guns! Hey, 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 buddy. Can I interest you in... And up, and up, no, oh, I'm a bit too up close and personal. All right, fine. Okay. Oh, look, his twin brother's coming round. Okay, as long as this guy doesn't get hit by a car, I think we'll be fine. Oh my gosh. There was a big car collision there, but everyone was fine. Okay, are you coming in? Come on, come on. <gasps> yes, yes, it's working. Okay, okay, good. Are you all right, dude? Are you a bit stuck? I kind of feel like he's a thief, maybe. Let's shoot him. Oh, that didn't work. Um, Are you all right? Do you need help getting out of that corner? You seem a bit... Wait, did he just... He just dropped it on the ground. What the heck? What a jerk. Okay. Well, let's put this back on the uh, on the shelf then. Is there anyone coming down? Anyone at all? What about you? There's a load of blood all over that car. I'm not sure what to think about that. Okay. This guy has a lot of blood on him, but it looks like just a, a normal construction worker guy. Are you coming? Yes. Okay. Back we go. Back we go. Back we go. I get so excited. This will be my first sale in hopefully a long business. Are they stuck again? Dude, are you stuck? Do you need help? Look, I think I need to move this shelf somehow. Because people are just getting stuck on that. Okay, look. Um, let me figure out how to do this. How can I? How can I move this? Uh, <laughs> dude, please. All right, look. I'll take it off you. Just for a second. Just for a second. Okay, maybe I need to. I don't want to trash the shelf because ugh, this is annoying. I don't want to trash the shelf because I won't be able to get my sales back. People just kind of stand there. I think they're getting stuck around this corner. Okay, maybe I do need to trash it. Let's put the shelf right here then. There's no way anyone can get caught on that. Now, unfortunately, I think we just used most of our money on this, so <laughs> hopefully this goes well. I just want to sell one axe. Is that, is that so much to ask? All right, it's already like 2 p.m. How much money do we have now? 75. Okay, we desperately need to sell this. So I'm going to raise the price a little bit just so we can make some kind of profit from this. Oh, it's a bit steep. I'm going to put it down by one, actually, just in case. All right, now we've got to play the waiting game again. Well, Guido, it is day four, I believe, and we have not sold this axe at all. Uh, we got $75 to our name. Uh, nothing's working for us right now. We really need someone to just roll through here, maybe pay for this thing, maybe buy the entire store, give me a million dollars. That should be enough to fund this channel. But right now, all I'm doing is kind of sh standing around, shooting at my windows, because that's all I can do while I wait for some hero to come through and purchase this thing. Man. Ah. <sighs> I'm starting to give up hope, okay. Unless someone comes through right now? No, I thought not. Then we're literally screwed. We got $75. All we can do is wait for someone to buy this. And then even then, I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to fund our next purchase. So, uh, look. All we can do is wait. Look, let's just try using our marketing tactic again. Sir, buy this axe right now. I've got you at gunpoint. Buy the axe. Yes, you've got the axe. Now bring it over here. Bring it over here. Let's see the permit. Yep, stay right there. Here we go. Yep, Guido, we have to use some questionable tactics here. Uh, oh no, wait. Yes, yes, this is someone. Okay, $140. Open up. How do we open it? There we go. We did it. We finally did it. <laughs> and we've made 15 cents of profit or whatever. 15 pennies of profit. Well, let's sell another one. Let's sell another one. It looks like our marketing technique worked. Our new one where we kind of hold people at gunpoint and force them to buy our weapons. Yes, that's all I need to do. People just need a bit of, a bit of forcefulness in their life, a bit of aggression. All right, guys, it's time for Guido's Adventurers of the Day. Now, with each video on Checkpoint, we give the adventurers who dedicate the time and effort to watch our content and make the channel what it is, an opportunity to get their amazing comments highlighted. Now, the way it works is simple. You listen out for quests, which are questions based either on the video you're watching or on a random subject altogether, and you come up with an answer in the comment section down below. Now from there, my robotic companion Guido selects the funniest, most interesting and exciting comments to be given a shout out in the next video right here on Checkpoint. So without further ado, Guido, will you please upload the data of the winning adventurers from the previous quest? Well done, guys. And now here is the quest for today. Make sure you leave a comment in response down below right now to get a chance of being featured in the next Checkpoint adventure. But right now, let's get back to the video. All right, so now we've got this cricket bat. We just put it back here. There we go. Uh, we're gonna bump the price up a little bit again. 140, the magic number. Now we're gonna go grab our gun here, just around the corner here. And uh, I know I said I hoped I didn't have to use this, and that's still the case. I kind of just want people to... Uh, 
to purchase this thing. Okay, buy my thing. Buy my guns. Guido, I think this tactic is really interesting. I don't think anyone else is doing this. I think it's our unique selling point. Yeah, exactly. Come to the gun shop and get threatened. That's a brilliant advertising tactic. Okay, who's next? You? You look like a boring man who needs some excitement in his life. Get in that gun shop right now. Come on. Come on. Mm, apparently not. Um, okay. Uh, it's already at 4 p.m. Good grief. People will be going home for their dinner soon, so we need to work on this. You? No. Nope. Okay, just keep aiming at people. Just keep ready. You, you've come back, haven't you? You thought about it. Yeah, you thought about it. Now you're back. All right, so he's got the weapon. He's coming over. Let's check the permit list once we see his. You are John Anderson. Uh, and you are good to go, sir. Thank you very much. Let me do this. Don't want to drop your money. There we go. And there we go. Okay, okay. All right, so we are selling here, Guido. It's finally happening. Finally. What about a nail plank? That seems fine. This is totally legal, by the way. I'm not going to buy two. Good grief. This is totally legal. This is totally a legal thing to do. Threatening people, selling weapons. Uh, so let's see how this... Is that a witch out there? No, it's just a guy in a, a creepy hat. It's like The Undertaker or something from WWE. Okay, what have we got here? Here we go. Now this thing, it may look a bit trash. It may look like a bit of wood I found on the side of the road, which I cobbled together in my in my bathroom. But this is a fine weapon, a high quality one. The Romans used this, okay, to, uh, to fight their wars, I think. Uh, and we're going to go risky here. We're going to bump it to 150. I know, I know. Calm down, everyone. But with this marketing technique, no one is going to be able to say no to this. And if they do, I'll just blow their brains out all over the pavement. It's fine. Buy my guns, please. Please buy my weapons. Oh, that hit him. Square in the ear. Good grief. You buy my stuff. Come on, you don't want your car being scratched. Oh, gosh, look out. Uh... Oh, oh my gosh. It's like merged into some kind of supercar. Look at that. Hey, sir, are you interested? You interested in it? No, come on, come back here. Let me just aim at this guy, and hopefully he should... Yep, yeah, come on. No! Oh, I dropped my gun. Oh, that's embarrassing. Hopefully no one saw that. Guido, we are having a pretty slow day so far. It's already 3 p.m., and nobody has come through to purchase this premium nail board thing. Um, it's just basically a plank of wood with a nail stuck in it, a couple of nails. Um, yeah, no one seems to want it. I don't know why. It's a good weapon, great for killing, great for murdering. Not like I'd know or anything, if any police are watching. Not like I'd know. My tactic seems to have kind of worn off here. I'm shooting at people, shooting at cars. No one's turning around to come purchase this thing. So maybe it's a bit of... Maybe this is a sign, okay? Maybe this is fair. Maybe I need to go out there and find the customers myself, okay? Maybe I need to do a bit, bit of exploration to find some some real customers around here because everyone, just they're just not interested in my, my nail plank. I mean, what's wrong with it? It's super premium, looks great, smells great, tastes great, but nobody seems interested unless... Unless the Undertaker here is interested. Is he going to come across the road? Are you coming across the road, sir? <gasps> he is. Oh my gosh, no! Oh my gosh, he barely avoided that. Come on, someone, please, will you? Hold on, I was talking to you. Will you please turn around? Sir, I really cannot stress the importance that you turn around right now. Sir or ma'am, maybe. I just need you to turn around, buy one of my guns. That's all I ask. Come on, just please. I Look, I have to point this gun at you. Ugh. Fine, fine. Nobody wants my guns. I'll go exploring then. I'll have a look through this window just to check if there are any customers waiting. Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's do a bit of exploring here. We do have a trash can over here. Maybe we can find some money in there, Guida. Yes, Guida, it has come to this, okay? It's come to the point where we are going to be exploring trash cans, digging through, trying to find money, trying to find something. Is there anything in here? Nothing? There's nothing in here. Okay, um, what about in this public park? Maybe there's a gun waiting around here or something. Or money, ideally. That'd be good. Um, okay, there's someone here. We're just walking around with our gun. Ready to, to... I don't even know. I don't even know why we've got this gun out. I guess for our marketing technique, we have something behind it. Is someone purchasing? I don't think anyone is. I can look through the window. It's just when the music kicks in like that, I get all hurtful. But no, nope, it's just me. Just me. Can I not get past it? Yes, I can. Just me imagining things. Okay, we have a dumpster here. Whoa! What's this? Um... Oh! We found a gun! Are there a couple of guns? There's something else in here. Um... Oh my gosh, wow. So we have a weapon here. I guess we can sell this now? Um... Okay. Fine. Fine! Fine, I knew that'd be worth it, Guida. Okay, maybe we can afford a shelf now and sell this thing. It's like a magnum with a silencer on it. This thing's gonna go for loads. Guida, this is our key out of here. As long as we don't get hit by a car, Right? 
Now, oh my gosh, it's coming this way. Cross the road. Go, go, go. Yeah, Guido, this thing is our key out of here, okay? We're going to sell this for so much money. It's going to be fantastic. Okay, let's roll through here and get the shelf prepared for a new, uh, well, a new weapon, I guess. All right, so we go around here. We go to, yeah, right here. And I guess it's a, a pistol shelf. We can afford that. It's going to be most of our money, but we can afford it. Rotate it round. We'll put it far away, just over here, just so we have enough room there. And can we, can we now sell this weapon right here? This one we just found in a dumpster. Oh, you can definitely tell it was found in a dumpster. Can we sell this, guys? Here we go. Oh my gosh, we can sell it. And look, it's 400. Oh my gosh, 400 smackaroonies. I'm going to put that to, I'm going to put that to four. Let's just see how far we can push it. Okay, can we go to 500? Oh my gosh, how high can we go? We can go to 590. I'm going to go to 570 just to see if that's going to sell. And uh, oh my gosh, I can't wait to skip this night. In fact, I'm going to do it right now. So, oh gosh, if I can reach. There we go. So, this thing is officially on sale. Hopefully, no one steals it. Guido, I've, I've been revitalized, okay? This is going to be our big break. We're going to earn so much money from this. And then we're going to be able to buy... A whole host of new weapons. This is going to be great. Okay, is anyone coming through? I don't think we're going to have enough to purchase the armor yet. But one day, maybe, if we sell you. I mean, sell more weapons. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a brand new weapon here in the shop. Please come on by for all your gun purchasing needs. Which reminds me, I need to... Oh gosh, if I could stop sliding around all over the place. Which reminds me, I need to pick up these new permits right here. I'm just going to sort my permits out. I expect a queue of people waiting for this new gun. Okay. So we've got the new permits there. Oh, if that thing sells, we're going to have so much money. I'm so excited. Can we sell it? Can we? Oh, someone's coming through. Please. Please, 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 please. Yes, it's her from earlier. She's making a beeline straight for it. Is this going to be it, guys? Okay, let's check that permit, Missy. Are you going to be a legal seller, please? No. No, you're not. You are not a legal seller. Well, everyone in this town thinks they can have something for nothing. Well, you're not having this, okay? Get out of here. Emily Miller, John Smith. You really think they could come up with better names than that, Guido? What about Herschel L. Humperdinck III? Or something like that. Yeah, or Barbara Ann. Yeah, whatever. Okay, look. As, as soon as someone buys this, we're getting a plane to get out of here. This is going to be great. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of stock. We've got a cool-looking pistol and a uh, just a plank with a, a nail in it. <laughs> No wonder no one's bought that yet. I literally could have made that before we started here, Guido. Oh my gosh. Okay, I picked up my gun instinctively just in case this guy tries to... He's trying to rob us. No, we got him. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, you thought you could get away with this super rare weapon? Freeze. Scumbag. Okay, we've killed him. Okay. Um, Is he going to... Yay, he evaporated. Okay. That could have been very bad. This thing was on sale for so much. If I lost that, I would have been so unhappy. He tried to make a run for it. And we managed to snipe him right in the back of the head. And now we've killed someone. Well, whew. okay, this looks like a, a police sheriff or something. Hopefully he doesn't come and arrest us. Okay, again, get the gun ready just in case there's a shootout. Put it under the desk here. Morning, officer. You good? Okay. Now you try to rob that. I'm going to... Oh, yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. I don't want to act all thingy on there. Oh, my gosh, it is. It's, it's Ref Doskoski. Yes, yes, Mr. Aaron Miller. I think your sister was in earlier. Yes, I will give you this. Uh-uh. Yes! We made the sale! We made the sale! Guido, we made the sale! <laughs> well, Guido, we are now living the life of a very rich man. Guys, if you enjoyed this installment of Checkpoint and you want to see more from this dimension, please let us know with a like and a subscribe. We made it. We're, we're billionaires now. Yeah, well, it's it's almost there. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. This has been Steve. That's been Guido. This has been the Weaponry Dealer Simulation Game Dimension thing. I'm so excited. Sorry. I'm sorry, Plank of Wood. I know you're a bit unloved right now, but we'll get you sold. Don't worry about it. Checkpoint complete. Bye, guys. <laughs> money, money, money.